finish the Navajo Loop and the Queen's Garden Trail. Now we moved on to something different. I might shoot this one a little bit quick for you. But something of interest is this area is very arid and dry, not a lot of water. This water was actually brought here back in the 1890s by early Mormon settlers who uh, diverted water from another river and they hand dug for 10 miles to divert the water where it is today. So it's kind of an interesting backstory and, and how it's affected the, the area as far as plants and animals, how they of course use this to hydrate. But, uh, it's really interesting. I love the history of places. It's a lot of fun. Back on the road at 6 o'clock in the evening, we've decided to take a very remote road back and then we'll hit to a slightly less remote road. Well, it's not too bad, but it's a very scenic byway. This, and however, I mean, what you can see out the side of the window there, um, you can just see there's not much around here at all. Very pretty, beautiful area. But it's uh, fun to see parts of the state that I live in that I haven't seen before. I just wish those things could, uh, could talk. It'd be interesting to hear that history. These are just the little gems I'm talking about that you run into on these type of trips taking the back roads. It's pretty interesting. Be interesting to know the history. Uh, that's kind of the theme of this video, I think, of this trip. It's really interesting. That's. It's an apple tree right there.
dare go upstairs. Some of the stairs seem solid enough, but. Huh. Extremely interesting. So it's just on that floor up there. I was literally just saying, I'm not, I'm not making this up. I literally just said, I wonder what kind of animals are in here. <laughs> and all of a sudden this huge, I didn't know what it was. I just saw movement in front of the van, slammed on the brakes. And it was a, it was an eagle that was just off the side of the road and started flying. It was a massive eagle. That was huge. And I thought we were gonna hit it. That was huge. That was really neat. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film. <laughs> so this, we're still on that same road. We're kind of towards the end of it. Um, shortly after that, that building that I showed you, if that makes the editing process or not. Gosh dang it, I wish I could have got him on film. I almost, I almost hit him with the van. I know, I about had a heart attack. I thought you were gonna hit it. <laughs> Honestly, my first thought was not evil because that thing was so big. It was huge. Yeah, I wish you had had the camera. Well, the, the guy, the boy, looked 